What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, Dad's gonna be going down to the park where we've done detected so many times, but something special about this time. He's got the new simplex coil, the new five by nine, I believe it is. He's gonna be taking that down there. See, let's see his first reactions on it. See if he likes it. See if there's any improvement that they can make to it. So we're gonna go head on down to the park. But before we get into the video, Simplex actually sponsored this video for us and if we hit well if and when we hit 2,000 subscribers because if you haven't subscribed yet you should because it's free and we do some pretty cool content and you can actually win diggers like this so we got right here for 2,000 subs we're going to be doing a giveaway for the premium digger extra sharp I'll, I'll do close-ups, but yeah, this thing's actually really cool, man. It's really sharp, really cut a nice plug. Looks like you can go about seven inches down. It's a nice digger. And then, I might actually buy one of these. That's pretty nice. And then you also get a digging bag. It's gonna be two separate giveaways, so there's gonna be two different winners. Um, this is a really nice bag. It's durable. It looks really cool. We'll get some close-ups of them right now. And hopefully one of you guys can win this. But yeah, guys, let's get right into the video. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm out today. I'm back to this old swimming pool. You've seen a lot of videos here. Uh, we've had coin challenges here, and we found like six five or six rings here now but I got the simplex today but with the simplex I got the five by nine brand new still in the pack thanks Dalek she hooked me up good and uh, I'm gonna see what this little coil can do there's a lot of targets in here I'll turn the big coil and let you hear some of these targets but this was all Tal Beach area like where everyone would have their towels and then over on the other side over there was the towel area also so we're going to see what happens here okay before i put the the small coral one i just wanted you to hear this i don't know how well you can hear that but very very noisy chattery it's got a pile of signals in here we've dug a lot of stuff in here but i'm going to just see what this new coil is see if i can get the separation maybe find some coins or whatever so we're going to find out here stay tuned okay there's some big things here different little, well not big things but some little bit different things um a little five by nine might all actually actually it might actually be heavier than the standard 11 inch coil very well made and unlike some other companies like i guess i'll say it mine lab look at their ears on these coils i know on mine lab they have a lot of issues with them breaking but these bad boys are made really well I like that but there's the difference in coil wise like I said I have the 5x9 I guess that would be what they consider a double D maybe and here's what I was talking about going and starting and coming over top down under and then when you get up here make sure you get a nice firm fit a lot of times you'll put it in and this inside shaft will actually shift around and if you don't have it firmly up in there you won't get a good connection now, I think a lot of times people get a lot of their chatter from that because it ain't got it properly seated in there so you just want it nice and tight especially if you're getting in the water you definitely got to make sure you check all your your two main things here to make sure that they're hooked up properly but anyways there she is ready to rock and roll let's see what we can find here's gonna be my first signal I'm gonna dig I'll let you get a look at it maybe you'll be able to see it on the screen I 
getting anywhere from a 78 up to an 81, 82. So let's see what this is. I'll be back with you. Probably why it was a little choppy. But you can see, pool tab. And what looks to be a memorial penny. Stinking Lincoln as a lot of people call them. But anyways, that's a pretty good sign. At least I could hear that penny in there. I knew I was getting a high tone from something. But anyways, pool tab. Stinking Lincoln, both in the same hole, and I could hear that Lincoln. All right, here's my third signal. I don't know if you can see it with the glare, but it's a 9091, and it says it's got by four bars. So you're looking at six to eight inches. Let's just see how close does this is to six to eight inches, and see what it is. All right, it came out. It fell right off of this clot right here. So it was about, I don't know, close to six inches. You can see it here, still the, the plug it left. It was just a dime, but uh, six inches dime. Didn't have no trouble whatsoever hearing that at all. It come up pretty solid, 90, 91. I don't think it's silver. It just looks like a clay of dime. But six inches dime, I'll take that five by nine coil. All right, this penny here, come up solid 75, 76, and it's down here a little ways. It's probably a good six plus inches. So, you know, for five by nine, getting pretty good depth out of it. I'd like to see us find a coin around eight, nine inches, but right now six inches ain't bad. I'll take that. One thing I did notice, and I watch a lot of YouTube videos like a lot of people and uh, when I watch them swing in the simplex they always say oh how fast the recovery speed is and I mean they're just blazing and I'm thinking you know what are you missing but anyways this small coil it's for these areas like I'm in now very trashy area uh, not maybe necessarily trashy a lot of pennies a lot of memorial scents and I get tired digging memorial scents. You know, I want the nickels, the quarters, the dimes, the rings. So you really got to slow this five by nine coil down. Uh, I mean, I could hear many a beeps in here, but I'm listening for that one high beep. And then once you slow that and come down right on that, you can really narrow that search down and then bam, like right here. I had a nickel and a quarter in the same hole as I come across it the first time I caught a high blip but I also caught the 22 of the nickel but once I came back and I concentrated on that hole and did you know I call them little baby swings I could actually hear 94 95 for this quarter so and if you would know how me and Jordan has hammered this little area I'd say, this is no exaggeration, we've probably dug, I'm going to say close to $150 just in quarters in these little area of this old swimming pool. So for me, to pull out a quarter here, you know, I, I think that's a small little victory because I heard it with that small coil in with a nickel in the same hole. 22, but I also heard that blip of that 95. So you really gonna have to start slowing these uh, small coils down. I mean, you can swing as fast as you want, but if you're really getting in these kind of areas where you really wanna find the targets and you want the good targets, you need to slow way down. Once again, about, now this is only about four or five inches deep, but I heard that high beep and I concentrated on that high beep and there's another quarter who popped out of the hole. So really 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 liking this separation that I'm getting from this five by nine and I I've been yelling since day one we need that small coil I love my small coils in these kind of areas so anyways that's quarter number two and it's only probably three feet away from the last quarter I dug 
All right, <clears throat> here's another, another good separation. A dime and a pop top on the same hole, about mm, five, six inches deep. But I still could hear that dime over that pop cap. It's funny because today I had a guy call me up. He said, man, I see you got the new coil. You got that new coil for the simplex. He said, what kind of depth do you think you're going to get out of it? How deep do you think that's going to go? And I'm thinking to myself, you know, I'm not really worried about depth. My thing is separation. Uh, majority of my queens, and probably most of you that's been metal detecting for any length of time, can probably say that your average decent queen is six to eight inches. You know, I... I've never really dug anything super, super deep, except for a couple crudel bells I might have dug deep. But, you know, when I'm using this small coil, it's because I'm in an area that's going to be really trashy. Like I said earlier, trashy meaning a lot of signals. And I want a separation. I want to hear those high tones or them low 22s, 23s, 24s, possibly gold. So I'm not worried about depth six inches is not bad and who's to say that there's anything deeper right now that i'm hitting that's you know i i'm not even maybe missing something very deep because it's not a deep signal here so for right now six inches almost seven inches i'm tickled pink with that because the separation i'm getting is very awesome i'm hearing a bunch of signals but i can identify the signals when i slow it way down and I do them little baby slides on it, I can really discriminate that signal and bring them out to me. And that's what it's about. When you're using a little coil, you're there to try to get in amongst all the other signals. So six inches right now, I'm tickled pink with that. And this signal here came up screaming, but I guess this is why. We got one, two, Looks like three. Three coins was pretty much stacked on top of each other. And they're all memorial scents. Stinking Lincolns. Let's see if there's anything else right there real quick. I don't think there is. Yeah. Oh. There might be something else down in the hole there, but anyways, right there's where the coins come out. So three coins in one hole. I guess that's a little coin spill. All right, I'm going to end with this find here tonight. I think it's probably going to be a penny or a dime. Okay, it's a dime. But anyways, you know, I learned a lot about this coil just in that little bit of time. It's actually a pretty good little coil. You just got to remember wh why you want a small coil. Most of the time when you want a small coil, you want to search either heavily hunted areas that's been hunted hard and still has a lot of high signals or trashy signals but you just you use that small coil to separate you're not getting depth it's not for depth uh that was probably about four or five inches i ain't saying you're not going to get depth out of this but you know if people come up and saying oh i'm getting 15 inches out of this nine by five coil I, i'm gonna be a little leery uh I'd say if you can get 10 inches out of that coil, you're doing something pretty good. But it's exactly what I wanted it for because this evening I probably got, I don't know, 15, 20 coins in about an hour's time. Uh, I was hoping to find some jewelry, but anyways, liking this new coil, I think if you give it a chance, you slow your swing down, I think you're going to enjoy this small coil too.